Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's balance this combustion reaction for decane. We have 10 carbons, we have 22 hydrogens, and 2 oxygens. On the product side, we have 1 carbon, we have 2 hydrogens, and the oxygens we have 2, but don't forget the one with the water, for a total of 3 oxygens. Let's fix the carbons and hydrogens, leaving the oxygens to last. So I need to put a 10 in front of the carbon dioxide, because 1 times 10, that'll give me 10 and balance the carbons. I've got 22 hydrogens, only 2 here. Let's put an 11 in front of the water. 2 times 11 equals 22. So I have 10 times 2, 20 oxygens there, plus 11 times the 1, 11, for a total of 31 oxygens. To fix this, if we were to multiply 2 times 31 over 2, the 2's would cancel out and we'd be left with 31. And that's what we'll do. We'll put 31 over 2 in front of the oxygen, and now this equation is balanced. Often you're asked to have whole numbers in your balanced equation. To do that, multiply everything by 2. So we'll put a 2 in front of this decane molecule, 2 times 31 over 2, well the 2's will cancel out and leave us with 31. 2 times 10, that's 20. And then 2 times 11 is 22. So that's the balanced equation for decane. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.